so I'm a bit more prepared than I have been. Can you hear me at the back? No. I'll stand in the middle. I'll stand in the middle. Can you see me I'll do some of the dance in a minute. I'll join you. Can, yeah. can you all hear me now? Yes. yes. Great. Right, well, since our last dinner here at the Belfry last year, some of you will know that we've had some fairly significant changes um, in relation to the Taylor District Day Centre. Um, and our move to the Cricket Club was made possible by a legacy received from a four, former member of the Day Centre, Peggy. Yeah, Peggy. Um, for which the trustees and members are truly grateful as he's made the move financially viable. Uh, and it's good to see Mr and Mrs Wise who helped look, look after Peggy in Tiddington. That's right. That's right, yes. Um, the move to the new cricket pavilion took place on the 14th of March. Um, so we've now been on site for approximately nine months. Um, and I think you all agree that we settled in pretty well. Uh, we did experience a number of uh, issues with freezers and dishwashers, uh, which have been resolved. The air conditioning has been installed. Um, extra work service in the kitchen has been done. Uh, and we've purchased a combination microwave stroke oven. Now, various charities and organisations have also helped with the move. Uh, League of Friends of Tame Hospital agreed to fund all the furniture, uh, white goods, etc. And the Welfare Trust gave us a grant to build an office. Um, and we've applied for a grant from the county councillor to cover the costs of the air conditioning. Um, and I'm pleased to say the Cricket Club also applied for grants on our behalf, which resulted in a lift being installed specifically for the day centre. Um, the move also meant that we needed to employ two dinner ladies. Sue, neither of them unfortunately are with us today. Um, Sue, who used to work at Tame Hospital and her daughter Jo, have made a significant difference in helping us settle into the new routine. Um, all the hard work was recognised as we were awarded the highest rating in food hygiene by the Environment and Health <coughs> of Oxfordshire District Council. So for us, having been in the hospital for 32 years, to suddenly come out and have to do all of this, I think, you know, is a tremendous effort and all the staff that have, and the volunteers that made that possible, without you, we couldn't have done it. So thank you very much. Um, and I'd also like to... Crown um, for his expertise and support um, in setting up the food service. The food service was exactly the same at Tame Cottage, but I think you will all agree that the food that you get now is much better than we had in the hospital, purely and simply because we've got the right equipment now. So, um, <laughs> thank you very much, Colin. Thank you. Unfortunately, the move meant that we lost a few volunteers, but we've managed to recruit a few more, and also the recruitment of more trustees, uh, which appears to be uh, promising. Uh, it was sad to discover in August that Age UK, the Age UK Dementia Friendly Service, out of Holton Village Hall, <coughs> closed on the 25th of September. However, from the 6th of November, we've been running an extra table on a Wednesday to accommodate some of the members from Holton who are with us this afternoon, um, which has been supported by two members of staff from Holton who agreed to work as volunteers, and that's Beth and Anne. Um, this year, we were also accepted onto the Young Volunteer Programme at the Oxford Hub, and Katie, who unfortunately is not with us today, from Oxford has met with a number of trustees and has also visited the day centre. Um, of the extra um, trustees that we've managed to recruit, 